forgiveness, amnesty, absolution, clemency, grace, favor, indemnity, mercy, overlooking, reprieve, exoneration. How do we just do that? <laughs> There's some people in your life that you need to pardon. And when I talk about pardon, I'm not talking about from jail. I'm talking about from the hardness of your heart. What's up, y'all? It's Jay Wade. And you know I'm coming through with a little bit of self-help and a little bit of motivation just for you. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. A lot can be said about why we fail to forgive. I mean, sometimes there's a lot of people that just do you wrong. But from where we stand, forgiveness is not necessarily for the other person. Forgiveness is for you. You see, sitting around bitter and being angry and heartbroken, that ain't never got nobody nowhere. But if you can use it for fuel to power you to success, then that's something that you can use. You see, the longer that you're angry at somebody, the less time that you can provide compassion for somebody else. Because see, in your heart of hearts, when it's hard, and I'm talking about right here, it can be difficult to dispense any type of love to others. See, what you gotta understand is that you gotta show mercy. And at some point, you don't get tired of being a bigger person. But that don't mean you gotta hold your tongue 100% of the time. You see, some people need to hear from you. Some people need to hear how you feel. A lot of times it's misinformation that got you into the situation that you in. And it can be difficult to decipher whether or not what you say is right or what they say is right. You see, ain't nobody perfect, not you or me. So understand that we all gonna be out there making mistakes. You can't get it right 100% of the time and you can't be for certain 100% of the time. See, I was told a long time ago, believe none of what you're hearing, only half of what you see. Because your perception ain't necessarily their reality. You see, you could block yourself from blessings because you harboring a whole lot of hate and frustration in your heart. You see, when you angry, and I'm not gonna say you, I'm gonna say when you see somebody else angry, you can see it written all over their face. So I already know that that don't make me any different from you. Because when I'm angry, anybody can see it wrapped all over my face. You see, no matter how many sheets or how many veils you pull over it, it's easy for people to see through. So one of the things that you want to avoid is that awkwardness. That when you're standing across from somebody who you got a disagreement with, they may not even know. You got to bring it straight out to them. People talk all the time about how real they are and how fake somebody else is, but let me give it to you straight. If you don't have a level of transparency with whoever you're talking to, you ain't keeping it real. <laughs> oh, I know. See, there's a level of real and a level of fake that everybody just don't understand. See, your level is different than my level, and my level is different than your level. I'm not gonna say mine is right and yours is wrong, but I will say there's some things that can get lost in translation. You see, your frustration ain't the only frustration that's out there. And I'm gonna tell you, the first time that you forgive somebody, you gotta forgive them yourself. You can't just tell them that you forgive them. And I'm not gonna ever tell you to be sorry about forgiving them. I will say you can be sorry about the situation, but that don't make you sorry. You see, sometimes some people just need to hear what you're telling them. And it ain't nothing wrong in that. That's as real as it gets. That's as being truthful as it is. You see, people will hang out with you for a long time and tolerate a lot of stuff. And you'll do the same. But what I'm going to tell you is, what you tolerate is what you expect. And if these are the things that you expect, how do you expect for them to ever be changed? You see, that's where the communication breakdown initially occurred. Because if you was all right with whatever they were saying about somebody else, then why is it now a problem that they saying it about somebody that you like? Cause see, now they faking, now they ain't your friend, and now you gotta make a decision because other people is watching. And once you got other people watching, you got egos and pride and everything else standing in your way. So it's gonna get difficult to make a decision. Some of those decisions are gonna be right and some of them are gonna be wrong. But you gotta understand that you gotta stand for something Otherwise, you know why you will fall. Man, that ain't nothing new. So the first step to forgiveness is not necessarily forgiving the other person, but it's forgiving yourself. See, you got to forgive yourself for ever allowing these things to happen. You need to reminisce and think about how you got there. And if they fooled you once, don't let them fool you again. Because I done said it before. If you've seen it once, you will see it again. You see, it ain't no amnesty in real life. But there is leniency and there is overlooking the problem. So what I'll leave you with today is, before you decide that somebody may have did you wrong, determine if you did them wrong. And maybe both of y'all can have a reprieve. Because see, reprieve is defined as... We'll save punishment until later. And when you do that, it's easy to reconcile and redeem yourself. So the true help all has to do with you. So it ain't nothing different that I done said. You got to help you before you 
can help you. And once you help you, then you know what to do. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you could pick up what I'm putting down. And if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button so you can see more. It's free. And smash that like button. Oh, yeah. Share this with somebody that might want to hear it. You can play this part right here where you say, my bad, I didn't mean that. What I meant was, hey, we got a misunderstanding. Hey, I try to do better in the future. Sometimes it ain't your fault and sometimes it ain't your problem. But sometimes you got to decide if your relationship is worth severing over something so petty. Y'all know I'm J-Wade. Peace.